There's all kinds of species in here, and then we can um, show you a few different vials. The black-footed ferret clone is in here. It's the kind of stuff that most of us have only seen in science fiction movies, Jurassic Park being the most famous. But here at the San Diego Frozen Zoo, the concept of cloning was around long before the Hollywood dinosaurs. The Frozen Zoo is important because we've preserved the diversity of more animals in these racks and tanks than will ever be again. For example, here, this blue, all the blue ones. Inside these vials, inside this room, the largest collection of animal DNA in the world. A virtual frozen zoo with 1,250 species being preserved at 320 degrees below zero. The first and largest frozen zoo in the world. We're one part of the global effort, and it's a huge part here in San Diego, but we're helping to teach people around the world how to do our methods. We're one of the first groups who was able to do this and over the past almost 50 years we've learned even more and more. The latest success story is this fascinating horse, a breed originally from Russia and thought to be extinct in the wild almost 30 years ago. Scientists at the frozen zoo used DNA they saved 40 years ago to create a living, breathing creature you see here today. His name is Kurt. This magic horse is a Chevalsky's horse and it is, uh, it's an endangered species. This is a clone. And the Kurt clone turned out so well, another cloned horse was born nine months ago here at the Safari Park. That horse is resting out of sight. It's very important for the species, but it's also important in the bigger picture because it, it demonstrates that this technique works. It demonstrates the importance of frozen zoos, of having this material saved for in perpetuity. Out here, preservation is the name of the game. It always has been, with critical environments being destroyed all around the world and animals going extinct all around the world. The human race bears a lot of blame. I think the ethical problem for us in animals is what we have done to populations of animals. That's the ethical problem we deal with, is this loss of genetic diversity is our fault. It's because of our actions. So we are actually resolving an ethical problem.